The I.O. menu has all the settings for the three outputs, namely line, phones and IEM. Typical operation is an alternate usage of these outputs, rear line out or phones or IEM. The ADI to DAC treats all outputs separately and stores a complete set of parameters for each. Depending on the used output, detected by the sensor contacts in the output jacks, the respective settings are loaded automatically. In this alternate usage, the unit provides three fully configurable outputs. Let's check the subpage settings and look at its parameters in detail. Source selects between the different input sources for the analog output signal. Auto, SPDIF coaxial, SPDIF optical, USB, USB recording coaxial and USB recording optical. The default setting is auto. In auto mode, any detected SPDIF signal will have priority over USB playback. Record SPDIF optical and record SPDIF coaxial activate USB full duplex operation. The respective SPDIF signal becomes the clock source and can be recorded via USB. The analog output signal is the current USB playback, in case the sample rate is identical to the SPDIF input. Otherwise, playback will be muted. To maintain an optimum level for devices connected to the analog outputs and to maximize the available dynamic range, the ADI to DAC offers a hardware-based reference level selection in steps of 6 dB over a range of 18 dB. If auto reference level is off, the reference level can be chosen manually between minus 5 dBU, plus 1 dBU, plus 7 dBU and plus 13 dBU for the RCA output reference to digital full scale level. The level at the XLR output are 6 dB higher, therefore provide plus 1 dBU, plus 7 dBU, plus 13 dBU and plus 19 dBU output level respectively. Auto ref level maximizes the signal to noise ratio when using the volume knob. It changes to the next higher and lower hardware reference level when the gain chosen via the volume knob would suggest to set a better value with optimized signal to noise ratio. By default, auto reference level is set to on for the line output and off for the phones. This feature is not available for the IEM output as that one has only one reference level. Mono mixes the left and right audio channel into one send out identical to the left and right output channel. Note that professionals prefer the option to left, where the sum of the left and right is sent to the left output only. Width defines the stereo width. 1 equals full stereo, 0 mono and minus 1 means that the channels are swapped. MS processing activates the so-called mid-side processing. The middle or mono signal is sent to the left channel, while the side signal or stereo signal is sent to the right channel. Polarity inverts the polarity on both or single channels. Crossfeed emulates speaker playback by reducing the stereo width in the treble range and applying the head-related delay for these frequencies. Crossfeed is adjustable in five steps. Sometimes it is preferable to use crossfeed in combination with a width setting to further reduce the stereo width for all frequencies. DA filter allows to choose between different oversampling filters. Default is SD sharp, offering the widest and most linear frequency response at lowest latency. SD slow causes a small drop in the higher frequency range but has a less deep filter. Sharp and slow equal the SD versions, but have a higher latency and different impulse responses. NOS is a very special filter that attenuates treble more early than the others, but offers the best impulse response. In case it is necessary, the de-emphasis filter for older CDs and dead tapes can be manually activated. But usually this setting is best left in auto mode. Dual EQ. When set to on, the 5-band parametric equalizer can be set individually for the left and right channel. 
volume mirrors the direct volume control via volume knob or encoder 1. The output level can be set between mute and plus 6 dB, mostly in steps of 0.5 dB. Turning the knob fast increases these steps. Only at slower turning speeds, the finer steps will be used. Balance mirrors the balance control in the volume screen, adjustable from left through center to right. A quick turn jumps from left or right directly to center and vice versa. Mute mutes the output. This function is better executed via the volume screen or the remap function keys. The next subpage is Parametric EQ. It is a text-based version of the graphical EQ available through the dedicated EQ key. We will talk about the EQ and its graphical user interface later. Therefore skip this section for now, going directly to the next subpage, Bass Treble. This subpage gives access to corner frequency and quality factor of the bass and treble functions. Bass Treble Enable allows to deactivate the bass and treble controls, which equals bass and treble set to 0 dB gain. Bass Gain sets the current bass amplification and equals the function of encoder 1 in the top screen. Bass can be adjusted between minus 6 dB and plus 6 dB in steps of 0.5 dB. Bass frequency adjusts the corner frequency of the shelf bass filter, adjustable from 20 Hz to 150 Hz. The default value is 85 Hz. The bass filter's quality factor is adjustable from 0.5 to 1.5, with the default value of 0.9. The same settings exist for treble, with frequency adjustable from 3 kHz to 10 kHz, and a default of 6.5 kHz. The last subpage is loudness. This volume-dependent bass and treble amplification is an extent and improved version of the loudness feature found in nearly all hi-fi systems. Enable turns the loudness effect on or off. Bass gain sets the maximum bass amplification adjustable between plus 1 dB and plus 10 dB, with a default of plus 7 dB. Treble gain sets the maximum treble amplification, again adjustable between plus 1 dB and plus 10 dB, and the same default value of plus 7 dB. Low volume ref sets the reference level for the highest bass treble amplification, reference to the volume set in dB. The available range is minus 90 dB to minus 20 dB. A volume setting at this point and below will have maximum bass treble gain. All volume settings above this point will have lower bass treble gain. 20 dB above the low volume reference setting, the bass treble gain will be zero.